Oh yes, we've got backfires. Welcome back to Johnny's XJ. I don't know if you remember my uh, choke cable, I had to drill it out, so I've still got the pin stuck in there, so what I'm thinking of doing is axoring that piece off, because it's a bit of a mess, axor it off as close to there as I can, get the mole grips on there and twist it out, let's see what happens. not to damage the choke bracket anymore. Oh, well that was easy enough. Let's see how easy this bit is. Come on. Yeah. You would have thought it would come out, wouldn't you? But it's not one. What is it? I think it's coming. Oh yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. I've just fitted some new cables. If you remember, I had to cut one. Well, they're not new, the second hand. But I got the cables and the throttle for £15 off eBay. Okay, let's see if we can get these babies on here. Come on babies. Got two on. Oh yes. <clears throat> yes, baby. And I've just got to the clamps up. Oh, I've got my bloody get your cable stuck. Got my throttle. I think that's it. Let's try and tighten these babies up.
one down, free to go. Plug the cables in. Don't try to start the bike just yet because the battery pack is on charge. So I will show you what I've been doing on my welding course. So the first thing I made was a tin box. Folding and creasing and no welding required. Then the next thing I made was a drift key for a big pillar drill. Not that I've got an industrial pillar drill but we uh, made a drift key. Then we made some dice. Then we made a tap wrench. You know, put your tap in there and screw your threads, a tap wrench. Then, we started making tea lights out of stainless steel. You know, put your little candles in there. Started to get a bit adventurous. That is TIG welding. Not very good at TIG welding, not very good at welding. And I made my little Chinese house with the little tea lights. Suppose if I paint it silver or something, it'd look okay. But the biggest thing we made to test our skills. Yes, you guessed it, it's one of these. A fire basket or a planter basket. They call it a planter basket, I call it a fire basket. And that's what we ended up making in the end. Yes, pretty proud of that. If I do say so myself. I'm pretty proud. So now we have an MBQ, now I, now I have an MBQ in, no, not welding, sticking things together. Just trying to work out where I can stick it on my bike. Okay then, so we've got it rigged up with the power pack. And my flat battery of my CBR. Yes, it's been standing for about two months. Got the petrol. Got my temporary throttle. Let's see what's going to happen.
trying to. Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it. Stop. Come on, baby. Almost. Happening. Seems to be firing on one. I can do it. Come on, pretty, pretty. You're so pretty. Come on. Big flash was. Did you see that big flash? We'll have to have a look back at that on the video. Don't be pointing in the right direction. I see the flames coming from here somewhere. Yes. Smoking again, baby. Smoking from all orifices. 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 Yes, yeah, smoking from all orifices. Yes. Engine sounded all right at all. Flash was. There's a flash and fire down here, wasn't it? I'm sure there was. Do you hear that ticking? Yeah. I suppose now would be a good time to start adding up some figures of what I've spent so far on this project. Uh, the bike itself cost £380 from Coventry, delivered to my front door. Bought the throttle cable, which, well, the throttle cables and the throttle, which cost £15, as you already know. 
I bought a part worn rear tyre for it, which cost £25. I've bought about 80 Buttonhead Allen bolts, which cost about £6. No, yes, yeah, cost about £6.60. Bought two sizes, 6mm and 5mm, to do for the fairings and fixings. Uh, four Jubilee clips for the carburetors, which cost about £4.79. Yes, and I bought some gasket glue, which is fuel resistant for the carburetor parts, which cost £4.48. And finally, I bought the silicon O's for the carburetor, joining the carburetors back to the engine, which cost £8.98 which comes to the grand total of £4,485. Not really, only joking. There is a guy on here doing a Street Fighter. We spent a hell of a lot more than that. And now it seems to me the guy who was supposed to be painting it is not going to do it. So he's going to end up spraying sp 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 so he's going to end up spraying it black out of a rattle can. Now, the actual price up to so far for my bike and its bits and bobs, £444.85p. Damn. So, I guess that's it. We've got it running and it sounded alright, apart from the... Uh, spit a spatter out of these pipes yes baby it sounded okay oh I'm well chuffed I am seriously well chuffed now I can strip it down and sort it out so I guess that's it for today don't forget to like share thumbs up yeah, same as like, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and please subscribe. Please subscribe. Go on. Have a subscribe. I'm not that bad. See you again soon. I see you in another life, brother.